Good morning everyone. Today, I will be presenting for the strategy and design intervention to improve Pasir Panjang, Setiawan in the basis level of harmonious aspect and spirituality realization. The site Pasir Panjang was located at Setiawan, Perak. It is a developing town surrounded with greeneries, uh, representing the fabric's most prominent economic aspect, rubber and palm oil. For the size synergy of Setiawan, I found out that the fabric was, has its in interesting elements of contrary aspect. The montage represents the contrary elements that found throughout the site, where most of the contrary elements contribute by the cultural and idealism difference that eventually causes divergence. And these are some of my thoughts during the found out of site synergies. So for instance, Despite being close to each other, the Malay and Chinese does not have any cultural influences between each other which creating a contrast between their belief and idealism towards tangible and intangible spiritualism thoughts. One good example is the huge misbelief that caused by the huge tourist spot of Topekong Temple where people tend to believe mere praying give good luck and such. So next, these are some renderings for the dissection and collocations of idealism layers within the site of Pasir Panjang. So this first layer rendering represents spirituality distortion within the site. And this layer represents the happiness index within the site. So this is the collocation of these two layers representing the hypothetical solution in this collocating of two different cultures together in the underground level of harmonious aspect of spiritualism. So the spirituality distortion of the site refers to the twisting of qi within an individual which mainly caused by the differential of core values and belief. I refer them as a mislayers. A mislayer typically could be known as people that had lost their, lost their sense of living, gamblers which is the main section of misbelief distortion found within Satyawan. Or, pe or people that are in grief say the loss of loved one. So where the happiness concept is deemed simple but very subjective to one may perceive. But typically, people seek for happiness for the goal and main objective of their life. But happiness could be categorized into three types. Temporary happiness, contentment happiness, and long-term happiness. So where I found out the main issue and trend of the site is the lack of long-term happiness within the site and its fabric, which only causes the increment of distortion of spiritualism. The spirituality distortion can tightly relate to the seeking of temporary happiness. The hypothetical solution for the creating of crossing of culture in the underlying level of spirituality is by reinterpretation of one's belief from its ideology towards a universal faith of atonement towards nature. When nature becomes the main power for the revival of abandoned buildings to temporal functions, creating a new form of resilient architecture. So the ideas or goals for the hypothetical solution is by creating a common ground in harmony for different culture. The common ground is a place where people seek for spirituality journey to heal them from grief in life, for atonement to reinterpret re their perception towards life appreciation to achieve long-term happiness. As per saying goes, life cycle is an inevitable life stages of an individual. One shall appreciate and perceive it as a part of their life to prevent from more distortion in life. Death is never solely an individual matter. When death escapes, it, it does not leave a body without subjectivity. Instead, it fills the corpse with its respective cultural meaning. So these are some researchers that support my finding for why Satyawan needs uh, more spirituality healing, such as like uh, abusing cases, such as uh, gambling cases and such. So for the site typologies, the diagram explain the choosing of site C for my main site as for my design intervention, where site C has the most potential for my design inter intention and thoughts. So this is my urban strategies for the proposing of spirituality installation for the harmonious ground. The proposed programs and buildings are mainly to improve the fabric of Pasir Panjang to a happier and spirituality fabric. The intention is to induce mental well-being of an individual by having the same idealism towards life appreciation, to create a community of understanding. A happy fabric would mean that it can foster all basic necessities such as police station to decrease the inefficient of workload and hospital for the needs for medical purposes. So the design strategies is that the building are an extension, are an extension of its existing, say the site A. The installation of spirituality school is a strategy from extending the existing school which fosters spirituality development programs since the young age such as free captive breeding or fish uh, and workshops. 
So the installation of hospital in Site B is an extension from the existing clinic to become a bigger medical help since the arising of COVID-19 cases, extensively with police stations, bomb bus, and etc. So where Site C is the site for my design interventions to foster spirituality healing. It is a good spot for the huge misbelief center for the Tope Kong Temple, extensively with the building installed to advance my programs, developments such as the vertical cemetery, the memorial diamond where disease di DNA are turned into diamonds as uh, memorial purposes, and the spirituality spine walkway within the mangrove area to bring repen rep repentance and spirituality pitch of light. The fabric has its own characteristic which full of swiftlet farming since of the year of 2000. I intend to use the swiftlet as one of my strategy for my programs for life appreciation. So the harbour path is a strategy for people to build up long-term happiness towards the appreciation of mangrove and sound notes. Sound notes are installed to collect sound waves from the sea to the building footprint as an appreciation of life elements. And also installation of silent retreat. To change abandoned building into temporary functions such as eco planting and meditation for a relief from hustle, life hustle. So these are some of my initial building strategy for the design intervention. And this is the, this is the program overview diagram for the fabric of Pasir Panjang through the urban strategies. Next, where we enter the design intervention. So the design building intends to reinterpret the ideology of belief towards a universal faith of atonement that mirroring nature holistically where people seek for spirituality, meaning and heal to achieve long-term happiness. The design intention of the building is to heal and improve the spirituality of an individual to induce mental well-being. The strategy is by taking away their senses for them to experience negative senses to make them realize the importance of it architecturally by experiencing the life journey to stimulate life appreciation. The targeted group are typically the golden age that may suffer from loss of loved one, recovering patient that has lost their sense to lives where they undergo life real realization in the building by building community in a social basis level for healing process and gamblers for the temple that has lost their direction towards life realization we understand the importance of it so the model of the program based on the 12 step pro 12 step program of realization for the needs and spaces for the target group and how nature idealism will induce growing of spirituality so the building is a monastery for the people that admitted through the 12-step program to dedicate their lives to faith and vows towards nature. The program can mainly split up towards life appreciation and spirituality development. The journey experience is the program for life appreciation and the journey are part of the circulation and it's tightly held together with the spaces and programs. For instance, the journey experience is where users experience texture of spaces through the intended circulation of life stages and the monastery programs held tightly with the spaces for the programs intended in the space. While the main program for, the, for their whole spirituality development is by rejuvenation of soul through programs such as planting and communal work that can be contributed as part for the community for the landscaping. So this is the messing development for my building showing how the building blocks respond to the surrounding site. And this is the schedule of accommodation. So this is the strategy of installation of street furniture for the real realization of needs for walking problems for the golden age. So the building feeling that I wanted to achieve is the fluidity of controlling views and spaces for journey experience and biophilic installation for the strategy of using nature elements for the spirituality programs. So next would be my exploded exonometric component and the circulation for different uh, purposes. So this is the ground floor plan. Uh, the left part would foster for community communal work, which I introduced the river line into the into my building for trading purposes. The middle part would be the strategy for life and death appreciation, where the dark ambience area in the middle is dedicated for birds such as swiftlet and bats as a strategy for life appreciation where people can interact with the nature elements of the site and it is designed for the habitat for them and the right part would be the spirituality development area and the monastery so the strategy for the ground floor plan is the strategy of circulation that does not control one's movement by following the walls and tiles to enjoy the intended journey experience and both walls strategy 
to differentiate spaces and controlling view to let users enjoy the exact experience. The double wall strategy of the outline of the building can blur the thin connection between confined and release to split up public and private. And the intended dark ambience space for bird habitat is suitable for funeral ceremonial. The accommodation is fostered for golden age as it has the, an easier access and circulation for the old age. So this is the basement floor plan and it, and it programs foster for depth appreciation. The first floor plan main program is the musical theatre of harmony for live appreciation where people enjoy the nature elements from the strategy such as sound notes from the UC and users can view to below to appreciate the funeral ceremony. It, it is placed on the first floor to create more views towards the mangrove. The, the accommodation foster for people that are mentally unwell. The second floor plan is the accommodation for family suites fosters for users that has afterthought after the journey to enjoy and to experience the monastery. And this is the roof plan of the monastery. So these are some design strategies for the different levels to allocate best strategies result for best outcome of experience. Next would be uh, section AA and its perspective view. This section mainly communicates the importance of spirituality and community, how users experience the journey of life stages. The section BB communicates the thin line of relation between life and death, where life and death is a thin line of understanding where death is not an escape, but a spirituality extent of life. The section CC communicates the importance of how the Golden Age and community are area held together, where the main program of planting drive driven the whole spirituality development of the user, where social skill is one of the main derived that driven spirituality development. So these are some of the section details and, and this is the elevations of the building. So this is the program isometric isometric view for the first and for the for the ground floor plan. And this is the program isometric view for first and second floor plan. So this is the whole exterior view of the new monastery. So finally these are some of the renderings and explanation of the journey explanation where users experience the spaces. So first when users enter through the main entrance, their view are restricted by the boat walls. Only a glimpse of the chapel is popped up in the middle. Next, the journey experience for spirituality development starts from the lobby, where it represents the absence of height for the life stages of an infant where users experience the space by looking up to the chapel through the void that creating a sense of floating chapel. The word feeding air area represent the absence of verbal communication for the life stage of a ch early childhood. The planting pot is an integrated component of the rainwater harvesting tank that link with the bird feeding area. The community garden represents the absence of youth for the life stage of a middle childhood that does not appreciate the importance of time and management. Next, the interesting developing rooms are space dedicated for people to enjoy their hobbies and it represents the absence of gratitude for the life stage of a teen that does not that does that does typically does not gratitude for the things they belong. Next will be the dark tunnel in the passage linking the community area and monastery that represents the absence of light for the life stage of a uh, adolescent that are blindly achieving materiality where it is a space that fosters for users to experience birds chirping without seeing at them. Next, the open activity area represents the absence of direction of a young adult where the various openings stimulate the sensation of the users for the absence of direction. The spirituality house is the main space for spirituality developing programs such as group meditation. It represents the absence of texture for the life stage of an adult that has no texture of life. Next, the next experience would be the library representing the absence of sound which old people needed the most for silence of inner peace. Finally, the grand finale of the journey is the musical theatre of harmony, also known as the new form of chapel nurturing the nature. 
Users, en users enjoy nature elements such as bird humming and texture of plant and air. The sound wave from the sea through urban strategies. So through the middle void from the theater, people will experience that funeral ceremony to pay good respect for the death as a celebration for completing life cycle. And lastly are some renderings for the monastery spaces. So the accommodation central park and this is the facade of new monastery. And this is the interior of monastery accommodations. And this is the refractory, also known as the dining area. And this is the gym for body and mind development, where physical development is essential for mental practice. And lastly is the prayers room. So lastly, this is the model representation showing the connectivity and solution for the divergence of culture towards the same idealism to achieve inner peace and long-term happiness. So that's all for my presentation. Thank you.